On the surface, sperm whale vocalizations look nothing like human speech, the whale's click. But if we look more closely, we find near-identical parallels between human vowels and whale clicks. So how do we produce vowels? We say all vowels by vibrating our vocal cords. By adjusting the shape of our mouth, we can say different vowels such as A and I. When we say A, we lower our jaw. Uh. When we say I, we place the tongue much higher. E. These different mouth shapes result in different resonant frequencies, or these shadowed bars. For A, the bars are close together. For I, they are far apart. So let's look at the whales. Just as humans have vocal cords, whales have phonic lips. Just as we have mouths, they have an air sac which they change the shape of. But still, they click. On the surface, their clicks sound nothing like our vowels, but that's because their clicks are slow and our vowels are fast. We needed to change our perception of timing. If we remove silences from their clicks and make their clicks faster, more adjusted to human perception of timing, patterns start appearing that look similar to our vowels. The red arrows point to shadowed bars, just like those we saw in humans. We found two vowels so far, the A and the I vowel, and we realized they exchanged those vowels in conversation. You can hear what their conversation sounds like if we make their clicks faster, more in line with human perception of timing. And the nice thing is that these patterns are so clear, so discreet, that you can take a piece of paper and a pen and start transcribing them with our human letters. These clicks were recorded from a sperm whale named Pinchy, who was communicating with a nearby whale off the coast of Dominica where SETI's research takes place.